Hello, Pisces. How the fuck are you guys? All right. So, I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you. Yes, yes, you. And I want you to keep in mind that these may not resonate for everybody. Please check out your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign. I also want you to keep in mind that I might be speaking directly about you or directly about your person, but roles can be reversed. And oftentimes I've noticed lately, sometimes they kind of are because I kind of notice that more and more messages will be coming through to the cross watcher. So if you have a Pisces in your life and you're watching their video about their sign, I might be speaking to you guys. Okay. It's okay. No shame. No shame in it. Cross watch all you want, which is Dang, what is it with all the Two of Pentacles? Y'all are juggling shit. I really don't understand why you guys are juggling so much. It's like, are we coming or are we going? Ace of Swords again. Oh my goodness gracious. I shuffled these real good, by the way. Real good. And I do that between each and every sign. I'm just saying. So... I'm going to take a minute to absorb the energies of your cards and then I'll kind of get into it, okay? So someone's going through a divorce? I feel like that's a very specific message and I'm not talking about a breakup. I'm talking specifically to somebody going through a divorce. And the reason why I'm saying that is because in your past energies here, you have the Three of Cups, which is often a celebration card, typically around a marriage. Doesn't have to be. Sometimes it is. We have the Star. You have a lot of hope. You had a lot of expectations on something. Okay? And then you have the Two of Pentacles. And now you're trying to juggle those expectations. Now you're trying to juggle the truth of how you feel now and the truth of how you felt then. Ugh. So, in your current situation, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Eight of, or Eight of Wands, not Ace of Wands, but Eight of Wands. So the marriage feels cold. The relationship feels cold. Some of you might not be married. That's okay. The relationship you're in feels cold. For some of you, this might be about a father figure. For some of you, this might be about a parent. But it's like you had a good relationship with them in the past. You had a lot of expectations, a lot of directions in which you wanted this thing to go in. And it didn't go in those directions. And you're seeing things from a different perspective. And you're going to communicate that. You want to communicate the truth of how you feel. Because the truth of how you feel is very, feel is very cold. Very left out. You know, I think you feel maybe a bit left behind. In your future energies, you get the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. So, I feel like you're going to stand in your truth, and it's going to make you realize that being self-deceptive and being deceptive with yourself and other people, therefore, or just hiding how you feel is sabotaging. It's, it does not work for anyone. Hiding how you feel... Having unfair expectations of yourself or other people just does not serve anybody. And you're going to realize that, if not now, then in the very near future. So the Ace of Swords is going to make you realize that you have work to do. And that there may have been some cups spilt, but there's something, something else is left over. You still have blessings in disguise here. Okay. So I am going to clarify for you about what exactly it is that you're juggling. I feel like it's expectations, hope, false senses of security, a marriage, a partnership, ideation, 
Maybe you guys were very idealistic in your past and maybe you've grown up for them. Okay. So... We get the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, someone ran out. Someone ran out on somebody. So, you know, Pisces, I don't feel like necessarily you're the Empress here. I feel like... I feel like you had an empress, you had a, a goddess here in your pocket, you know, she shows up at the, as the star card, or he shows up as the star card, you know, and I feel like that maybe intimidated you, that maybe scared you, you're like, I don't know if I can live up to their expectations, they are really great, I know how great they are, but I just can't fucking do it, you know, and that, that, makes you feel drained. That puts you in a place of feeling like your energy is being sapped because, you know, it's been a challenging time for you, you know? And again, you have the Five of Cups here in two places. So I think you need to hold on to what you feel is the blessing. Sometimes the lesson in itself is a blessing. Sometimes you just need to get in touch with gratefulness and be grateful for the people that come into your life at the time they come into your life because whether or not you realize it, marriages, I mean, you chose that person or that person chose you. You know, if I'm speaking to the empress here, if you're the empress that, you know, is showing up in this reading and this person turned their back on you, they chose you for a reason. Sometimes it's just the lesson that needed to be learned, you know, Sometimes a soulmate is more of a karmic partner than anything else. And it doesn't mean love's not out there. It just means that with this specific situation, there is a truth that needs to be realized. You know, you need to kind of cut through the shit and work on yourself and what you need to align with. And what you need to align with, either you or them, could be them, is that self-deception and sabotage serves no one. So, that self-deception and that sabotage that I was speaking of, these cards came out when I was talking about that. We get the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So the seven, number seven, is very much a, a spirit number in, where, in which it is a balancing of all things. You balance all the energies, all the sacred four directions, as above, so below. Um, and then you yourself, uh, typically, in my opinion, are the seventh. So you take everything around you, bring it in, and you find balance. So... Um, you're protected from falsities, but you are protected from falsities if you stay balanced in what you know and understand. So the Six of Pentacles um, is very much about uh, cycles, about uh, finding strength, finding balance, finding security. And that security is inside of you. You know, this person, you know, they're a thief. You know, I hate to say it, but, you know, if you're the empress watching this on behalf of a Pisces or a Pisces, if someone did something to you that was just kind of dirty, a bit deceptive, you know, they weren't quite clear with you about the expectations they had or maybe about expectations they didn't have or they felt pressured by you, well, then they're just as much to blame as you because they didn't communicate that they felt that that was unfair. It takes two to tango, you guys. It takes two to tango. This person's a thief. I feel like they stole your heart. They stole your heart. They knew that they stole it. 
and they just were like, well, you're unfair, and like, bye. Bitch, please. I don't know who needs to hear that, but that ain't right. I don't like that. Not cool. I don't know if that was you, Pisces, or if you're a Pisces and that happened to you, like, that's some bullshit. Yeah, this is a sign. <laughs> so if you're watching this reading, this is a sign to just go. Move on. You know, Ace of Swords it. Work on yourself and see the blessings that the lesson brought you. If anything, I would just say be grateful to them for teaching you a lesson. And just move the fuck on with your life. That's what I feel this is about. I don't know why I feel so passionate about that. But I feel passionate about that. Let's pull a few cards for you from the self-compassion deck. To close off your reading. So I also feel like Spirit wants me to tell whoever is watching this who has been on the receiving end of being hurt by somebody, you are a star and you are not a victim. You are not a victim. And you are a star. You are a light in the darkness. And from now on, you need to go forth and protect your energy. So I want you to do deep breathing every day if you can. Just a few seconds in the morning and imagine a bubble of light protecting you coming from your crown chakra down through your body. That'll really help you. Somebody needs to hear that out there. Bring to mind a somewhat difficult person in your life. What are three things you might have in common with them as a human being? Again, so pulling yourself out of that victim place and realizing that, again, you chose them for a reason. They chose you for a reason. There are things that made you fall in love with them. There are things that they fell in love with you over. You know, Try to see them with compassion and move forward. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Hope it helps.